Once again, let me ask you, ladies and gentlemen, based on your own political observation that you have made recently, what exactly do you think is the secret political card that our very own good Deputy President Riyadi Yashagwa himself is trying to play ahead of the 2027 general elections? Because there is something going on, very strange. And do you think that Riyadi Yashagwa's political strategy will succeed or it will backfire? Because Rigadi Gashagwa mentioned something recently that made me never to judge Rigadi Gashagwa again. Rigadi Gashagwa said this, that he is not too clever in politics, but also he is not too foolish in politics because he has been acting very weird recently. And he said this, that when you see me acting the way I am, there is something going on. Mimi naongea kwa niyaba. Mimi naongeaka kwa niyaba. Na ukisikia nimechukua musimamu fulani. Iko watu wengi sana nyuma yangu wananiambia musimamu ni huo. Yeah? <laughs> Negu adwa itu? Negu adwa itu? Yeah? Na tuedane, tuedane, tujitane, dukano eka hiyo, ugaadhe shaburu wanyo kwa mwogo, arone tebele, dukana igwere mwale wanyo kwa wiru. So regardi kashagwa might be right. Another question, do you think that President William Samwe Arapruto and Rigadi Gashagwa will work together in the 2027 general elections. And do you think that if William Ruto and Rigadi Gashagwa will work together ahead of 2027 general elections, that ticket will win in 2027 based on the people's moods currently? Because I've been talking to some people. And remember how the people of the Republic of Kenya usually vote. They vote based on their feelings. They, based, they, they vote based on political parties. They vote based on tribal politics. Right? And a section of Kenyans vote uh, based on the issue-based politics. However, the 2027 general elections, political formation is right here with us. Just a few of you can see this. And the signs are now very clear for the people who can make a prediction of how the 2027 general elections formation will be. The formations of the leaders who will form the next 2027 government and also a formation of the leaders who will be in the opposition ahead of the 2027 general elections. Let me ask you, do you think, do you really think that President William Samuel Arapruto can work with the former Prime Minister Raila Odinga in 2027. According to my considered opinion, based on my critical research, is that it is possible for William Bruto, Raila Odinga, to be in the same political formation ahead of 2027. So let us start now from here. And I want you to follow this analysis to the end because I want to give you the factual details of what is going on in the politics of the Republic of Kenya because this is exactly what I do. So if you are new in this channel, 
or maybe you're listening to me and you haven't subscribed, I want you to take one second or two and hit the subscribe button down below. For you to receive more political updates like the one that I'm currently doing right here. You can give this video a like so that YouTube can also recommend this channel and this video in particular to reach out to others because that is the only way that we can grow together in this channel. Let us proceed. I've always said on this channel over and over again. So let me repeat it once again. Don't be shocked in 2027 seeing our good Deputy President Rigadi Kashagwa being in the opposition leadership in 2027. Don't be shocked. Why am I saying this? William Ruto does not have anything, any issues at all with our good Deputy President Rigadi Kashagwa. In fact, recently, during the UDA stroke Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance meeting convened by William Ruto, there is a section of MPs led by the majority whip, Silvanus Osoro, who wanted to discuss the conduct of the DP, Rigadi Gashagwa, in front of William Ruto. Expect him to also tell his deputy uh, to stop being tribal. And, uh, and, and and focus on his national agenda. Uh, we really expect that because if then he doesn't, then the members will, will, will tell him, uh, the deputy party leader, that um, uh, you are a bit too much in terms of being very tribal. They wanted to raise that issue. But President William Ruto, based on this article here, William Ruto told them off. William Ruto demanded that all the MPs in UDA stroke Kenya Kwanzaa must respect his deputy president, Rigadi Kashagwa. So that tells you how William Ruto really is. But it is so unfortunate that our very own DP, Rigadi Kashagwa himself, seems to be having issues with William Ruto. And I think it is because of President William Ruto endorsing Raila Odinga for the African Union Commission top job. And according to Raila, uh, to Rigadi Kashagwa, I mean, Rigadi Kashagwa has said that there is something beyond that endorsement. There is something more than that endorsement of William Ruto to Raila Odinga. So that is the main problem of Rigadi Kashagwa and William Ruto. Also, it could be that Rigadi Gashagwa wants to mobilize the Kikuyus so that President William Ruto can go through him to the mountain. But do you think William Ruto will accept to go through Rigadi Gashagwa to seek the votes in the Mount Kenya region? Let me give you a good example. According to this article here, it says that the MPs who boycotted the bill in parliament, the UDA stroke Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance MPs who were absent, the 10 of them, they were convinced by Rigadi Gashagwa not to attend, not to vote for the finance bill 2024. And it says that Rigadi Gashagwa instructed the MPs to avoid the finance bill in parliament. Who are these MPs? We have the Nyali MP, that is Mohammed Ali. We have Sabina Chege. Then we have who? Benjamin Kadura, Jane Jerry, who is the women rep, James Gakuya, who is the Embakasi uh, North MP, and some other leaders there. So you can clearly tell that Rigadi Gashagwa is secretly opposing his boss. And you can tell by um, the governor of Nyeri County, Mutai Kaiga, who has publicly opposed William Ruto's finance bill. And he is the political friend, the political advisor 
he is in the political team of the DP, Rigadi Gashagua. Another thing that happened yesterday is that you saw Rigadi Gashagua having united with Kalonzo Musyoka, together with Eugene Omalwa, together with the former governor for Kiambu, Babayao, together with Wamushomba, and some other Azimio leaders. They had united in a certain event and they were attacking President William Ruto. Now we are going to lose 100% to lose confidence in his record. Sisi tuna regret kuchagua mheshimiwa William Ruto kama president wetu. Tukienda 2027 muito wa watu wa street mimi nikiwa kwa street ni kitu moja. Sisi tukuwe na candidate mmoja wa kiti ya president ambaye atanegotiate na wale wengine kama mheshimiwa Kalozo Musyoka. Hatutakubali yeyote aguze rigade wa gashagwa sisi watu wa mlima. Wanasema oh hajui kuvaa wanasema oh hajui kuongea wanasema oh, kama hujui kuongea kadhoni wa mshomba ko hapa atakuwa na kuongelelea kama hujui This government we put 47% percent percentage it's our government Just look at the people working with the DP So you can tell that there is something It could be because Rigadi Gashagua is isolated with the MPs with the leaders in the government that is why he is seeking the unity from the opposition because regarding Shagwa also said yesterday that his allies are being intimidated his allies are being frustrated in the government some are being intimidated they are being coerced they are being threatened oh if you call for unity you shall not have projects oh if you are seen with the deputy president things can be very bad but those are normal things in politics but what is important is not so what exactly is the political formation in 2027 this is now where things are becoming hot according to my opinion i might be right i might be wrong there's a high possibility that there will be a formation of president william ruto musalia mudavadi then we have Raila Odinga in the same political formation based on the things that are happening currently if you want to know william ruto's mind how william ruto is thinking ahead of 2027 don't go too far just follow denis itumbi what denis itumbi has been posting don't go too far just follow william ruto's right hand man william ruto's pa who is Farouk Kibet and Farouk Kibet together with Denis Itumbi are exactly the people who the deputy president Rigadi Gashagwa has been opposing has been attacking recently even some people wana msaidia kazi mapie yake wanataka tukuniamrisha mimi vile nitafanya kazi inawezekana hata bloggers ya president want to tell me what to do if you are afraid to the president keep your friendship Wachana na mimi. Mimi niko na boss yangu, I know his name. Another formation that will be formed in 2027. There will be a group of the opposition. The deputy president Rigadi Gashagwa might fall in that group. Rigadi Gashagwa teaming up with Kalonzo Musyoka and his allies Eugene Omalwa. And that is why they are defending the DP Rigadi Gashagwa. I want you to follow this very keenly. But politics can change, right? So I might be right, I might be wrong. But why am I thinking that regard that William Ruto, Raila Odinga and Musalia Mudavadi will work together in 2027? What are the signs? The first sign that I have seen is there's a high possibility that UDA party will not exist in 2027. And William Ruto himself will kill the UDA party so that he can form one political party and he has been convincing the members of the Kenya Kwanza team to dissolve their political parties and join him already as we speak there is Musalia Mutavadi in he has already joined William Ruto 
he has dissolved his ANC. And this article here says that there is a high pressure mounting on the Speaker of the National Assembly, Moses Wetangula, to dissolve his political party, the Ford Kenya Party, and join UDA after Musalim Mudawadi made that decision. Remember, Musalim Mudawadi and Wetangula are very good and very close political friends. So it is not a big issue for Musalim Mudawadi to convince uh, Moses Wetangula to join him in UDA. And also remember that the ODM party is fading away. ODM is becoming weak as Ray Odinga officially exit from the local politics. So I won't be surprised if ODM will be in the same political formation with William Ruto. Also remember that William Ruto endorsing Raila Odinga for the AUC position. Politics is about interest. I'm going to support you. What am I going to gain? So if Raila Odinga will win the 2027, uh, I mean, uh, will win the AUC position, there's a likelihood that he will support William Ruto ahead of 2027. So those are the kind of issues that are going on in the current political affairs. But the ground is open. The floor is open. I would also want to know your thoughts, your views, and your opinions in the comment section down below. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more political updates. Let me see you again in my next video analysis. Remember my name is Jason. See you. Bye-bye. Have a good day. Thank you.